Okay, so here we are at my website, theolasticlearningfuser.wordpress.com, and we're going to use the search bar and look for MK Boot. And we're looking for some tools, and I thought I could give you the links, but it might be hard to remember, but uh, my website's easy to remember, easy to remember to search for MK Boot. And let's click on this porting Debian Linux to your cell phone guide. So this was a guide I did um, back in the day. Uh, I actually put Debian Linux on to a Samsung Captivate Glide where it just booted up and it was just a Linux computer. Um, fun project, uh, another time. But uh, what we want is we want to download these tools. I should probably go back and fix this old article so that these are just clickable links. But if you just highlight them and open link in a new tab, you can download those tools there. And what we want to do is download these tools so that we can unmake or unpack boot images to get special information out of them and special files out of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, these just go to uh, GitLab, or I'm sorry, not GitLab, Mediafire, um, and you just download those tools. I probably should put them together in a GitLab repository or something like that. Um, these tools are not original with me. Uh, you can you can also just look online and grab them as well. We're just going to download all four of these tools. <clears throat> Apologize, I'm a little stuffed up this morning. Hopefully, uh, the audio still turns out all right. All right, so I think. I think this is the last one. Let's uh, look at our downloads here, see what we got. All right, unpack, repack, make boot, and unmake boot. Okay, good. So once those download, we'll have the whole kit and caboodle. And there we go. So we can just close these. We don't need this anymore. And, you know, Media Fire popped up some ads for us here. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, leave the page, leave the page, yeah, yeah, okay, good, 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 yeah, yep. okay, great. So, you know, we, we copied a lot of files from that uh, Blue Life 1X2, the Blocks 2, um, just making a new folder called Tools. I'm going to put these four tools in this tool folder, because um, we're going to use them here in a little bit. We're also going to copy them and move them over to another folder called the boot folder, which is just where I put some stuff. But here's like the SD card, um, you know, with everything on the SD card system, we made a full copy of the system using ADB pull um, and even the vendor stuff. So here, we'll just copy in here with the boot image. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we'll, uh, we'll CD into that directory so let's look at what we got. We've got these, these files, and what we're going to do is chmod them. We're going to A plus X. And we're going to just do everything in here. There we go. All right, so now these are executable. <clears throat> so what we want to do is break down the boot image. And if we unmake boot image, and we say boot image, then we get this nice, wonderful printout. Um, of course, Michael K. Usma made this and uh, really did a wonderful job. But all of this information is really important. We're going to use it later. So we want to copy it so we can put it into something like, uh, like a, you know, save it on Gedit or something like that so we can use it later. Because we have like the page size, we have the, um, Oh, the base address of the kernel, everything that we're going to need. We also have like the command line that was used to boot the kernel. Now, I know we got that earlier in a previous video, but this is just really handy to have. So let's uh, open gedit in the background here. And that didn't work very good. Let's uh, copy and paste that stuff again. There we go, and we'll uh, save it. 
Let's see. Maybe on the SD card. Where we saved all that other stuff. We'll just call it the unmake boot image text. Actually, let's just save it in the boot folder. All right, so we've got that information saved because we're going to need that a little bit later. I'm doing a lot of kind of background work right now, and I, I do apologize. It looks like we're not working on building device tree, but we really are. So let's make a new folder and just throw all of this junk in here from what we just unpacked. We're going to use one of our other tools here. Um, we're going to we used unmake boot image, and this time we're going to unpack the boot image. So that was unmake boot image. Uh, un what do we call it? unpack? So if we unpack the boot image, it turns out a little different this time. Instead of doing a bunch of stuff, oh, we got a bunch of permission denied here. Uh, we definitely don't want to be missing any files when we do this. So let's. Well, it's made our files, but we need to uh, make sure that we get all the right files. So let's do this again. We'll do it with sudo super user do. And we'll type in our password. <clears throat> no errors this time, much better. There we go. See all those errors we had last time? And uh, no errors this time. So what we want to do is uh, unpack it. So we can look at what's in it. And we notice we have a couple of files here. We have our RAM disk and we have uh, you know our our kernel. So we're gonna make a folder and dump all that stuff in there. And throw our boot image RAM disk in there. Of course we don't have permission. We'll just move it from the command line. And of course, we need to do that as the super user with sudo. All right, so now that we got it in here, we can take a look at some of the files in here. Um, but so these, these tools are great, wonderful tools for breaking down boot images and also for putting them back together. So let's take a look at some of these files. Um, you can see all these init files. And if you remember, we uh, looked at these init files on the phone. We'll just jump over there, ADB shell. And we'll see here, here's all those init files. And I said, oh, we're going to need these later. Well, they're all right here. So this is very, very convenient for us. Um, let's see, it's not showing me any of the files. Oh, well, some of these folders are empty on purpose because that's just a mount point where it's going to be mounting the system or sys files later. Um, don't have permission. You know what, just, just to get over this permissions issue, uh, we're going to um, change all the permissions of everything in this folder. So we'll just chone uh, Alaska Linux user and Alaska Linux user. So it's choning, changing the ownership of the user and group of the unpack folder. And we want to not just do the folder, we want to, well, of course, we need to do the super user, but we want to do it for everything by doing this dash capital R, so recursive, to go through the whole folder and change everything in it to be mine so I can actually use it. So here we go. Now we can look at the files. We see all the files are here. Um, a lot of great uh, stuff that we can do. Now would be, for instance, like you could come through and change something you know, edit these uh, images or uh, change some of the init files. And then you could repack that um, boot image and put it together um, and flash it back to the phone even. 
So a uh, really handy thing to know how to do, really handy for what we're about to do, especially because we can see stuff like um, SD policy and service context and a lot of, lot of important files that we're going to need in here. So this is great, and now we're ready to, uh, to actually start using it. So what else should we look at here? Oh, also take in, keep in mind, here's the kernel. Um, you know, when we unmaked it, we also had a kernel and a Z image, and then you would just have to break down the Z image, or not the Z image, but the uh, RAM disk there. Uh, we do have this file, and again, we're going to be pulling a lot of this information to fill in the board config.make file. So that's why we had to do this first. 